I'm not going. Why not? What do you think? I can't go out enjoying myself with this hanging over me. I need you to tell me that you're not going to tell anyone about the witness. You know, I can't give you that assurance. So we're not even going to discuss it. You're just going to drop me in it. You put a witness in front of a photo of the suspect. You think it was a mistake? Or a deliberate attempt to contaminate the memory of that witness. But no, no, you don't believe that. You don't believe I did it on purpose. Look, I messed up. I'm not corrupt. The result's the same. You contaminated the case. She's no longer impartial. I can't believe you're doing this to me. I'm not doing anything for you. I have a professional obligation to my client. I would not be doing my job properly if I did not report the police for failing to correctly follow procedures. Oh, stop! Stop! Stop talking like that! You're not in court! This bloke that you're trying so hard to get off is a wife beater. My client has never been charged with domestic violence. But that's because he always gets away with it! Look, I've been to his house, Simon, and I've seen the holes in the wall. The onus is on the police, the CPS, to prove his guilt, which they have failed to do. And due to procedural errors, they'll be unsuccessful again. So that's it. Now you made your decision, you. You're putting some violent scum before me. Before our relationship. I'm sorry. You're the one making this personal. It's because it is personal. You're screwing me over. Look, please. Don't do this to me. To us. Wasting my time on you. Come on, just talk to me, eh? We can sort it out. I mean, you're, you're right all along. About what? Sleeping with the enemy. Thanks for coming with me. 